Hey, it's Biddy Penny. You guys, I think you need to get your paper and glue ready because I think you're gonna wanna make this sheet load of cards. This is the June 2022 sheet load of cards. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so the June 2022 sheet load of cards. This is the second page of the cutting guide. I just wanted to show you that Call Me Crafty Owl has a channel membership and it is so worth it. She sends, she gives so much content and you can join for as little as $1.99 a month. Here are the hashtags, the cutting guides. This is what the sheet load looks like this month. And oh my gosh, I had to tell you, I was so excited when I opened the file and saw it because I've been wanting to make cards like these and just never have. So this was awesome for me this month. I was very, very excited. I am recording my voiceover outside again, you guys. The sun is still rising and the birds are still chirping, so I hope you enjoy the nature sounds in the background. This yields six cards, and here is a free printable that you can download on from biddypenny.com under the Uvalde card drive. Um, I am collecting cards for the community of Uvalde. There are already announcement videos on my channel and I'm gonna be using these sentiments today for my card making. Um, you know, I'm on a mission right now to make as many cards for this card drive as I can um, before I start collecting everybody else's and managing the card drive more. So I'm trying to get all of my cards done in advance. Many of these sentiments work together. So you've all these strong because of you, you are loved. Um, just a lot of these you can put together. So you could put one on the outside of the um, card and one on the inside. That's what I did. I also designed this so that you could use it in a paper trimmer just like this and make strips with each sentiment. Um, I wanted it to be as user friendly as possible. Um, one of the thing I things I like about Call Me Crafty Owl's printables is that you could use dies and stuff with them. Like she separates them enough that you could use a punch or a die and I think that is so awesome. Um, for me, with this cause, I needed things to be separated um, just enough that you could cut them easily, but that I could get a lot on one page. That way, for those of you who don't have a working printer, maybe you're going to take this somewhere or have someone print it for you, you could easily get lots of cards from one sheet of paper. So I was just trying to think of as many variables as possible. I also tried to include a whole variety of sentiments. So that's that. Did you know the sheet load is free too? And we have a collaboration team. Oh yes, we do. And it's amazing. So it's gonna be, the hashtag is in the title of this video. All right, I am using this Prima collection. I've used it before. I've made cards with it before. I think it's luscious. I love it and I've really been wanting to use it the last month or so, and so I pulled it out. Now, the sheet load calls for 12 by 12 paper, but of course you can make it with um, six by six paper, you can make these cards, you can make these cards with this paper, which is just shy of eight and a half by 11. It's just not US um, standard measurements, but it's okay. I just followed the cutting directions and made them work for this paper pad. One of the things I did is use this pattern paper for um, my inside flap that you'll see. I don't know how to describe it, but you'll see the smaller piece that flaps over the front of the card and glues down to the inside. There we go. So I actually used pattern paper for that. Um, and then I also used some cut aparts as my focal point um, for these cards. Some of these were appropriate for the cause and some were not, but because it's double-sided paper, my absolute favorite kind of paper, then um, I was just able to flip it over and still use these cut aparts, um, but just use the other pattern paper side and add my sentiment. So for like this one, I thought was perfect for the card. 
Um, but wish you were here, not so much. So I will just use this other side here and put it on. All right, so that's in a nutshell what I used and how I used it for my card making. Um, always, if you're gonna make some cards for the sheet load, make sure to use your hashtags. If you have a you know YouTube channel or something, just use the hashtags at the top of the printable and then share what you're making. You can also share it on Instagram and probably Facebook. I just don't know Facebook, but um, probably there too. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is my sheet load and I really love these cards. Look at this design. Is this not the funnest thing? I really, really love this. I have seen these cards, but I never made them and I've always wanted to. So yay, now I have the directions. I know how to do it. I have all the measurements because Call Me Crafty Owl did all the heavy lifting. If you want to participate in the Uvalde card drive, please join us. Um, and you can find all the information on my website, biddypenny.com. There is a tab for it. And that's also where the printable is. And there's submission guidelines. So please read over those. Um, if you're not, I understand. Enjoy the sheet load. It is so much fun. I'm sure I'm going to use it again and again and again like I do with other sheet loads. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to go see what the other collaboration team members are making. I know I'll be hopping to see it too. Bye.